This is going to be an update on Broad Street. I know you love them. This is where I used to live, Tower One. Broad Street, just off Broad Street, Sheepcoat Street. Not open yet, should have opened the 1st of January. As you can see, the car parked here on the footpath since they uh, laid this beautiful wide footpath here. And I used to live here for over three years. It's total anarchy this street no control whatsoever and here you are oh I'll just park on the footpath no problem have a DJI and a extension rod with a extension mic which I'm trying for the first time it's got a little dead cat on but I need a better one it's breezy so it's going to be very breezy guys sorry got to be careful because it doesn't fit very well into the bracket so keep falling out a quick update Broad Street the trams are now running to Symphony Hall but not up Broad Street at the moment this just takes you up to five ways can't see a damn thing with all the wind and sun so forgive me and here you are as I said you got letters last year March opens January the 1st 2022 getting to the end of February now and uh, this is the position in Broad Street Novo Hotel here more building going on over there when I lived here for nearly three and a half years it was just a building site actually one of the worst places in my life I've ever lived the noise wonderful furniture shop here Lee Longlands bought my stressless sofa here this is going on possibly for another I don't know one year one and a half years 40 million pound project owned by Brindley at NatWest Bank actually you can see over there so I was directly opposite all that A complete nightmare this opened just before I left, Dixie Chicken. Open till 5, 6 o'clock, Sunday, Friday night and Saturday night. Goes on till 5, 6 in the morning. So all the people come out of the clubs and they come here. Again, it was just across the road from my flat. You have a guy here playing the drums throughout the night on a Saturday night till Sunday morning. Usually until about four or five apparently nobody can do anything about it O'Neill's here they, they have a wonderful garden out the back figure of eight So this building here, isn't it wonderful? 
pop world over there you have the Commonwealth Games offices we know one thing for sure all this will definitely be finished before the Commonwealth Games that's for sure I feel sorry for the local businesses that have had a terrible time here and struggling obviously because of Covid and all the building work going on and then of course when they're told it's going to open January the 1st it must have been a wonderful feeling for them they probably thought oh that will help us but as you remember in my last video I'm having to hold the camera in case it falls out of the bracket they did take most of the people working here throughout the whole summer away from here and that is why it's not open yet nothing to do with the guys working here it's to do with the management of this project the brass house here and then we have Coyote Ugly never been here I'm too old it's open seven days a week I think it's five o'clock on a Friday and Saturday night and four o'clock the other five days in the morning Black Sabbath Bridge here I'm hoping the external mic helps my voice although I don't like it that's why I don't talk on most of my videos the glorious canals and the back of the symphony hall as you know we have the fountain up here they call it the dry fountain they finished the ice skating rink and the chairs and various other things they had here for Christmas market the German Christmas market but it's four weeks now and they haven't even switched the fountain back and I'm not sure why it usually is switched on immediately after they have gone As you can see here, I know this is very boring, but you look at the state of this here, and there are many areas in this street where they have problems like the one I have just shown you, and they have never addressed them bearing in mind it's two to three years they've been working here and something like I've just shown you has been there for over a year eventually the trams will run five ways round about under the tunnel and finish a couple of hundred yards away from Morrison's So as I said, a quick update, I know you love them, probably think I'm very boring, but you know, can't help that. This is a wonderful area, yes the fountain's still off, 
and I am going to bore you with this. They left this a year ago, like this. Three weeks ago, four men came along and they spent a week doing this little line here and then disappeared again. Quite busy today. See the trams to start to run into here again. They did stop, as you know, the top of Ball Street for the last six months. They had to lay all the tracks again. Getting this to look very pretty, no doubt, to show the world, which is it's a good thing. What a wonderful city Birmingham City is when the spotlight's put on it for the Commonwealth Games. Not sure what they're doing here. The Rep Theatre's been refurbished for the last six months. So, interesting to see what it looks like now. This is a wonderful area, magnificent. We could go in. Let's go in. Hopefully I won't um, get thrown out. It's very warm in here. It's beautiful here. It's so much better. What a wonderful place for a coffee.